Oceanologists believe that the tourists died on the day of the dive. Probably, the whole skin could burst and water got inside. The tragedy with the deep-sea vehicle Titan still haunts researchers. The bathyscaphe with five millionaires on board began its descent to the Titanic on June 18, but after one hour and 45 minutes communication with it was interrupted. The rescue operation began almost immediately, even some underwater knocks were heard. This gave hope that the crew was giving a signal about itself. But hopes were fading before our eyes, as was the estimated supply of oxygen. A few days later, there was no doubt that trouble had happened. Most likely, the hatch burst and the people on board the bathyscaphe were simply crushed by the water column. Such dives are always fraught with risk. The youngest diver who visited the wreckage of the Titanic in 2005, Sebastian Harris today, calls diving on Ocean Gate an inherently dangerous undertaking. Sebastian Harris, the son of the head of the Titanic expedition, J. Michael Harris, was only 13 years old at the time of the dive. He and his father went down to the bottom of the ocean. During the dive, there was a problem. Suddenly, the guy started oxygen starvation. I passed out when we were diving, Harris told the son. His father did not feel a dangerous decline. Perhaps the adult's body was more prepared. Otherwise, a catastrophe could happen. Today, he admits that the oxygen ran out due to technical problems in the device. This kind of minor malfunctions can and do occur regularly, so the certification and safety of these vehicles is very important, he argues. At one time, Harris descended with his father on the Russian underwater vehicle Murai. This 12-hour journey earned him a Guinness World Record as the youngest diver. But he can't decide to dive into Ocean Gate, unsure that the quality of the device is failing. For example, there were special hatches and tracking devices on board the Mur vessel, in which they were absent on the sunken side. The Russian device has a special hatch in the upper part, which can be opened on the surface and get out from the inside. This gave at least some chance of salvation in the event of an emergency. But what are we dealing with on the Titan? You are placed in an open cylinder, and then the hatch is screwed into place. This does not meet dive safety standards, and it would make any potential rescue very, very difficult. People are not aware of the danger, he concludes.